right. Uh, so this is um, the original idea for for this uh, talk. How I wanted to present this was to be just a little update uh, because I was talking about machine arithmetic on now a few times, and the last time. I more or less outlined what this is for, how this works. But the last time when I was presenting this, this was um, uh, for straight line programs, right? So when there is no recursion. So what we couldn't do the last time uh, was uh, proof by induction over recursive structures. And uh, the idea was that, okay, well, I'm just gonna give a small update, uh, assuming that people already know, or people already went to the, the micro hackathon that, that we did. And I'll just explain how we do um, inductive proofs uh, as opposed to straight line proofs. And, uh, uh, then uh, there was this idea that we should do an actual workshop with written papers instead of just, uh, you know, this, this just being a talk. And uh, then on review, uh, uh, the, the overwhelming uh, comment was this should be much, much more detailed than it was in, in the first uh, draft that was very tiny with just basically, here is what we have, now it can do uh, inductive proof and uh, we validate that this works because this can prove uh, um, the examples in um, the liquid Haskell, uh, um benchmark suite and and it actually appears to work and then the the things that uh, are supposed to not be proven are actually shown to you know not provable and the ones that are supposed to be proven they're actually proven so uh, it was it, it, it was uh, it was to be uh, a little one but but then um there is uh, there's a few people here who obviously want to hear more about this but uh, as uh, leandro uh, put it this is uh, to, uh, to 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 give a to, uh, this is to complement what is already in the paper because every one of us can read um so what 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 do I what do I want to say informally? Um, the the driving force behind all of this effort is and, and has always been uh, very practical. We didn't do this. simply because refinement type small talk. Uh, the realistic uh, driver for, for, for all this, why we do this is because we wanna construct a VM that is not behind its time by 30 years or 40 years or something. Uh, we wanted this um, for a uh, modern architecture and uh, by modern, uh, the elephant in the room is weak consistency of the ISA. And uh, in reality, that necessarily means that you need to have, or, or you, you, you are, you're competing against the post-quantum compiler where uh, you cannot assume uh, the classical situation where, okay, well, before an instruction um, is executed, you are in a particular state. Say uh, you have a register and in that register, there is some value X and you execute an increment. And now you are in a well-defined state and in your register R, you now have X plus one. You cannot assume that. Uh, now you are in a mixed state 
uh, you, you don't have uh, a wave function, you have a matrix of density, and uh, now your logic is suddenly quantum logic because you don't know what the reorder buffers in the microprocessor did. So how do you compile for a machine like that? And, and you want to do a, a JIT like that. Uh, and um, we did a number of attempts and we, as, as we were failing and then failing, well, learning from failure, uh, but we went from, we went down from a situation with dialect bingo, where you say, ah, okay, well, I want this, uh, and I want this to implement my stuff, but this is only available in quiz, and this one is only available in Faro, and this one is only available in Smalltalk X. So from that dialect bingo situation, we, um, uh, fell down into the situation of nothing works. Um, that uh, I don't have uh, basic, basic things that a uh, person working on compiler construction today takes for granted in the implementation substrate uh, is, is just not there. And whatever is there, you try to use it like uh, graph traversal, there has been a good year uh, uh, for uh, things like the extra algorithm and, and, and so on. And you download it and, and you think, yeah, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just use these graph traversal algorithms. They are there. They have been there for 30 years. And you try using it and it doesn't work. And, it, and, and, and you find that um, you, just, you, just have to, you just have to write your, your own. Uh, but worst of all is, is the, the expressive power of the constructions we have is just not up to what the competitors who are writing compilers for modern architectures is, is uh, uh, well, it's not that it's not there and it's not the expressive power of small talk. It's, it's the constructions that are available inside, or that are embedded in, in uh, the small talk class library. Uh, trying to express the VM in them, um, we saw so much noise that in the end, the VM is essentially impenetrable. Uh, most importantly, we don't have compositionality and we don't have structures that can lead to a systematic computer logic. Uh, we need, we were talking about um, the Q&A um, session of Leandro's talk that uh, you need, um, for example, if it's if, if to be, uh, say, a semi-group. Well, in uh, computer logic, um, you absolutely need uh, a, a fundamental structure that leads to uh, a topos. And we have anything resembling a topos. Uh, in in Smalltalk 80, we have classes, and we have the instance of being a member of the class. And what that leads to that, that if, if you only have that relationship to reason, really characterize uh, what, what, what a property of, of the object uh, is. So uh, we did try to, to construct uh, the compiler uh, using several approaches. And uh, as, as, we went, as, as we went along that path, um, we said, okay, none of this ad hoc approach, uh, we, we really need a systematic uh, basis and we, that we need to start looking and learning what the world does in the area of how you can, um, and we start implementing that in, in small talk. And um, uh, when, when you implement that in small talk, you, you say, oh, okay, uh, this is different from how people do this in Agda. This is different how people do this in Koch. This is people. Uh, this is different how people um, do this um, in Haskell. I uh, read a, a few things that makes it interesting in ways that are more than just oh, let's let's implement what others have done um, in um, in other languages. Um, the one one interesting well, one interesting thing is uh, with with small talk we're 
we're essentially trying to do a dynamo, right? Uh, no one has attempted uh, to do proofs uh, in, in a dynabook like medium. And uh, um, the dynabook itself has not benefits getting faster, right? Like with, with, uh, with Ken, we were discussing this a few months ago that, well, yeah, but these algorithms, they exist, but uh, they are only working for toy programs. Well, that was several decades ago. And it's not the speed up of the machine itself that is interesting. It's the speed up of search algorithms um, that is uh, that, that is interesting. And um, uh, if if we're talking about several hundred times uh, um, faster machines, but search algorithms, uh, we have seen a speed up from the days when Smalltalk seventy two was conceived to. Uh, 10 to the power of 300. That's Google Cube. Uh, uh, satisfiability has, 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 has seen that, that type of speed up. So what can we do um, at, at, at this point? Uh, we, we, we try, if, if you... We try to um, I'll show you. For example, here you even even in even in just even in Z three you can uh, you can formalize uh, things like okay if I have two lists and uh, the uh, right the the definition the definition of length is the empty list is zero and if not it's the tail the length of the tail plus one. Right, you can you can actually formalize this in just Z three. The problem is with that kind of uh, with with uh, that kind of proofs, uh, you are actually diverging. So if if I if I uh, remove this skip here, if and and I try uh, running this this test, uh, the my whole small talk will freeze because it's an FFI call to Z3, and Z3 will just not know that it is in an infinite loop and will never come back. Um, so uh, we took, uh, th there is a number of algorithms that, that uh, do the, uh, that uh, fight with this. Uh, we took one of them, which is extremely popular, and you have like 4,000 uh, followers on their, um, on the, on, on their Slack channel. Uh, there is uh, a Haskell implementation of uh, based on um, on um, refinement types that allow you to do this. So what we've done is, for pedagogical reasons and for validation reasons, uh, we started from their tests. So they have um, they they have a, a horn solver. So and and they have their tests. So these these are all of their. Um, and and uh, and we just say okay, well we, we do this, and they have a higher level. Uh, they, they have a higher level suite that that uh, there is one that integrates with uh, the Haskell uh, ability per se. We we don't really do that, but they have a textual thing where they have a toy programming language on which they do their experiments, and in this language. Well, we had um, a, a simple one, you know, the, for for uh, sake of illustration, you know, something that oh well, if I if I do a, a square of of an int and and then pause is whether is a boolean whether or not that result that came from square is more than zero. And um, we demonstrated uh, this. This we were explaining at the last uh, at, at the last hackathon. The new one is you can do things like append. So here you have a data type, which uh, right now is just some ad hoc class data, which is similar to what the the Haskell guys do. Uh, what is in the works now is uh, to actually express this as an actual F algebra, and um, I'm trying to combine this with Luciano's uh, work to axiomatize uh, what an F algebra is. 
because this this is an example of an of an F algebra. But right now it's just uh, it's just ADTs uh, written in an ad hoc way. So what you say is uh, if you have a, a nil list, then his the, the, the his length is zero. Otherwise, it's the length of of the tail plus one, and then uh, you do an append, which is a program like that, and then um, uh, then you verify that the uh, length of the two of the two uh, little lists combined is the, the 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 length of the appended list. So that you do by structural induction on the on the structure of the list. And let me show you how we well a little bit because I I I, sh I, I showed this pretty much all uh, the last time. But the the difference is well first we parse this and prog is some kind of small talk object here consists of uh, these measures and expressions and the data and uh, then what we do here here's the solve and the solve first we do vc gen so from this uh, uh, from this recursive program uh, we do a back and forth um, synthesize verify loop uh and it what 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 recursive what happens is that we recursively uh walk the ast and uh, the result is uh, a horn query in an nnf form and so this is now this is a horn query and uh, now there is um we we have a horn solver that basically we just we, we flatten that and there's me either a sat or or unsat so uh, basically uh, uh, i get safe in in this case and if i don't for example this is a negative example where instead of appending and they are doing uh, a, 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 a pen, a, appending only the only the head to the first one, but not append not, not, not prepending the head to the first one, but not appending the other tail. So this is obviously incorrect. And um, this uh, the, the negativity of what I am uh, the expected result is unsafe. And if I try to verify this program is again um, uh, going go, going to result in a counterexample. Uh, so this is the, 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 this is how this works. Um, you 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 have Boris, you have two minutes. Yeah, I, I yeah. think I, I think I will uh, simply yield the mic at this point because. Uh, we all know how to read. Uh, just the talking head, uh, you know, is not interesting. Maybe we we uh, give those two minutes more to to the time for Q and A because uh, I, I'm sure this is more interesting answering your questions uh, than just to you know keep keep yakking. So well, thank you very much. Then thank you very much for the talk. Uh, is there any question? So I have a question. <clears throat> um, first, uh, let me uh, say, Boris, that um, your voice um, broke a lot during the talk. So I will ask you for the. <clears throat> I'll move closer like this because now I don't have to. Uh, now I don't have to uh, drive the screen showing to you, so I, I can just. Uh, unless you want me to show something again. No, uh, okay. Is, is this better? No, no. But the problem I think uh, wasn't related to that, but to your connectivity. So, at least, uh, so. 
we can talk about that later, but maybe you could uh, record yourself uh, the talk. So when we upload it uh, to, to the YouTube channel of uh, FAST, uh, we have something of higher quality uh, in comparison with what uh, I've recorded. All right. Um, no, my question was, okay, so uh, this um, uh, transformation uh, from the thing you want to verify into this um, normal form uh, before you send it uh, to Z3, so to make sure that uh, Z3 uh, don't, uh, um, iterate forever. Mm -hmm. and, uh, this is very nice and important. My question is, uh, C, uh, C three also have this uh, capability to give you uh, a counter example if uh, your theorem is false. Mm -hmm. uh, can you reconstruct uh, to the original formulation, because you will get uh, a counterexample for the normal form, but not for the original one. So not for the original one. Uh, yeah, that's something that's that, that's that's something that is difficult to do currently, and this is not just a, a problem with with our implementation. This is something that is. That has been going. The discussion has been going on a lot in um, in the Liquid Haskell uh, forum, for example, and uh, that's uh, that's that's subject of ongoing research. I think uh, what is happening here is similar to the situation with uh, when we compile a high level language uh, to uh, assembly or to machine code, right? Like if you are optimizing the code, well, what you have is very, very difficult to, uh, like if you, if you go GCC minus O, uh, a lot of times you will not recognize what you're getting. And uh, it's, it's like, okay, well, I'm stepping through the assembly in the debugger and how come I'm walking backwards and things are just, you know, um, generally screwed by, by the optimizing compiler. And uh, uh, we have to, we, we have to put together similar uh, debugging approaches to, to put this, to, to put this information, which uh, pieces uh, of the tautology came from which piece pieces uh, of the original that uh, is on the horizon, um, and we will address it as as one of the one of the future directions. But it's not something that is going to be of like my immediate next goal which is which 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 are different things my my immediate next goal uh is to actually connect it to the jit compiler and for that i am missing uh a bunch of things in the middle which is going to require a lot of transition from again what i only have as ad hoc and i want to do this systematically and um uh, that means uh, I don't have an axiomatization, which is in itself will not be difficult because again, this is just porting stuff that other people have already done in a similar system, just not in small talk. Uh, I don't have an axiomatization of, uh, well, for, for, um, for weak consistency, for sure, I need the junk functors because they're used everywhere right you're losing when when you go from a from a state for from a concrete state to an abstract state of the machine which is an envelope of the states the machine can be in 
right? So you are you are traversing a right of junctions, right? You are you are losing fidelity in representation of the state of the processor, and then back is your concretization function, which is your your left adjunction. Uh, we do not have uh, that in small talk, and. Uh, um, one uh, immediate goal which I am struggling with right now is I am trying to somehow use Luciano's framework to write an axiomatization of left and right adjunctions between uh, between two functors uh, so that uh, it it also nicely connects with uh, with with uh, what I just showed you. So that we can we can um, in in a static analysis in, in the static analysis sense, you know, use um, use that. The the other one is uh, we don't have uh, optics and uh, any kind of implementation of an optics library, and without that, uh, you cannot even read and write well not only memory but even registers right like i am putting i don't know load five into register i don't know on intel eax well i can i can trivially uh, express that but how do i express that i shouldn't be touching any other registers right mm -hmm. so there is there's a systematic theory about how to express that in a computer logic and that is something which is next up. Uh, uh, and as soon as we have that, which again, it's just, there are many tasks, right? And this task is one of, it, it's not very big, uh, but uh, after we have uh, axiomatizing this, you know, how you say, do not touch other memory other than what you're writing or, or reading from, um, is that immediately connects to Jan's uh, register allocator and uh, his uh, axiomatization of load and store uh, from Tiny Rossa. And then once we have that, uh, basically at that point, we have an axiomatization of the whole compiler. Okay. So I think after we have that kind of uh, you know, after those holes in the whole story are plugged, then we will immediately go back and uh, implement uh, what 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 you asked for is is how do you connect like like in a debugger, right? How do you know if uh, if a tautology breaks? What in the theorem? Uh, what 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 in the you know in in the original goal theorem? What caused that to break? Because right now it's manual, and if you look at the proof of, I'm gonna show on the shared screen again. I just want you to see how big uh, the normal form is. So if I step into this, so now this is my prom. Right, so I'm stepping into solve. So I flatten this to horn normal form now. This is not even the Z3 tautology. This is just this is just horn with with the, those star holes, right? So now this is self is a horn query, and inside here I have my constraint, and here is the constraint. So there's one constraint. And here is the tree. So let me let me make it big and show you. Now, well, this one is just it's just an empty, trivial, a bunch of trues, right? So it's an uh, here's a real one, right? So for all x's, for all y's, there's an end of again for all nested x's and then there is there's an end of this and 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 this for all h of variable type a for all t which is a list of a's for all x's which is a list of a's there is an end of and, and 
and so on and so on and so on and so on and it, 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 there, there's like 200 of them right from those two lines of actual what we are trying to prove but it's it's an inductive thing right the darlington algorithm of you just you you just uh, unfold and then you say oh okay this one collapses okay so we fold it with this and you unfold and you collapse and you unfold and you collapse and there is this darlington theorem that says well this unfolding always is gonna uh, converge to a fixed point and here is the fixed point right we know that that it is always finite mm -hmm. uh, for a very very large class of of goal theorems including recursive theorems uh and uh and this is actually decidable right that well the the original um the, the original task of of proving any uh of of any theorem like that obviously is undecidable so we are talking about a decidable subclass as in you know ackerman's decidable cases of the decision problems or solvable cases of the decision problem and obviously this has false positives so you will always have Gödel points where actually the answer is yes but the system is just gonna tell you I do not know and mm -hmm. even though it could be you know we know that it is that that it is true it just cannot be proven algorithmically so it's 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 it, it's it's uh, classical Gödel stuff right yet another manifestation of the diagonal problem 